Hey gang, uh, uh, this is Factoring. This is a Integrated Math 3 lesson, although we spent probably 8 to 10 days at my school last year on, on Factoring, um, and it was in Module 8, I believe. So anyway, so I'm going to spend two days on this. So here's the first part, Factoring Polynomials, okay? I'm going to remind you how to factor some things, and then especially in the, in the next lesson, okay? So how do we multiply polynomials and then uh, what type of expression? That's our last one. How do we factor polynomials? That's what this should be. That's a mistake. This should say how do we how do we factor polynomials, okay? Uh, anyway, so, uh, so here we go. We're going to factor the polynomial or identify it as a prime. Now, every book I've taught out of and I've been teaching for 30 years uh, has said prime. In this book, I've never heard of irreducible. Okay, whatever. So anyways, that just means prime, code word prime, okay? So the first step of factoring is to GCF out. So here we can pull a 3x out of all of these. And so when we pull a 3x out, watch, I'll just rewrite them as the product of 3x. 6x cubed is 3x times 2x squared. 15x squared is 3x times 5x. And 6x is 3x times 2. So we're going to pull this blue guy out, okay? And so we're left with all that other stuff right there. All right, so now this guy uh, continues to factor, you guys. So 2x squared is 2x times x. And then 2, you guys, is either uh, 1 times 2 or 2 times 1. So you just got to guess and check. So if we put in the 1 times 2 or the 2 times 1, and then let's, we got to check to see if it gives us 5x. So when we do outer times outer, we get 2x. Inner times inner is 2x. 2x plus 2x is 4x. We want it to be 5x. So let's just switch these two guys around. So when we switch those two guys around, that's going to give us our our appropriate one. So here we go. Let's try it again. 2x times 2 is 4x, and then uh, plus this uh, 1 times x is 1x. 4x plus 1x gets us this 5x. So there's the correct answer right there, okay? All right, so here, let's GCF out a 2x, okay? So uh, when we pull that 2x out, we're left with uh, x squared minus 25. And then this is a difference of squares. This is x squared minus 5 squared. And remember, when we have a difference, minus sign is difference of two perfect squares, they give us these conjugates, okay? x plus y times x plus minus y, okay? So here we have x squared minus 5 squared. So then this becomes x plus 5, x minus 5. Just don't forget about your 2x that you pulled out. So there's the answer right there, okay? All right, so here, now this is going to give us the sum of cubes, okay? There's a formula for the sum of cubes and the difference of cubes, but you need to recognize that 27 is 3 cubed, and then this is x cubed. So this right here is 3x cubed. 64 is 4 cubed, okay? Now there's a formula for the sum of cubes, so or the difference of cubes. Okay, for squares, there's only one difference of squares. There's no there's no factoring a sum of squares. Okay, now there's a nice little gimmick that is oh golly, several years ago, one of my students helped me, and it goes like this, you guys. Here's the the gimmick on sums of cubes and differences of cubes. They give us a binomial times a trinomial, so by times try, and then what you do is you soap it. The S stands for the same sign as this guy. This stands for the opposite sign. This stands for always positive. Okay, same sign, opposite sign, always positive. So that's what the SOAP uh, represents, you guys. Okay, so the bys are the guys that are being cubed. So x cubed plus y cubed is x plus y. x cubed minus y cubed is x minus y. And then I call them my bookends, you guys. For the, for the trinomial part, you square what's in the binomial. So square that goes here, square that goes here. So if I square these, they're the, the end pieces of my trinomial right there. And then the middle piece is just... Um, the product, you guys, the product of this times this, so x times y. All right, so let's go back to that problem right here, okay? All right, so these are going to be by times try, so there's our space for by's and tries, and we soap it. Same sign, opposite sign, always positive, okay? So if that's a plus, that's a plus. This is opposite of plus, so it's minus. This one's always plus, okay? The things that are being cubed goes in here, so 3x and then 4 goes in here, okay? And then 
and then uh, I square 3x, 3 squared is 9, x squared is 9x squared, square 4 is 16, and then we multiply these, 3x times 4 goes in the middle, 3x times 4 is 12x, okay, there it is factored right there, okay, this trinomial will never factor again, at least uh, I've never ever found it to be factorable, okay, GCF out of 5x, so we pull the 5x out, and then you got to recognize this is uh, 2x quantity cubed. Okay, 2 cubed is 8, x cubed is x cubed, so this is the quantity 2x cubed. One's a perfect square, it's a perfect cube, so it's got one cubed right there, and then we do by times tri. Okay, binomial, trinomial, and then we go through same sign as that, opposite sign, so this is a, a, a plus sign, and this one's always plus. Okay, the things that are being cubed goes in here, so 2x and 1 goes in there. Okay, 2x squared is 4x squared, 1 squared is 1, that's what goes on the bookends, and then multiply, 2x times 1 is 2x, that's what goes right there in the middle. Okay, all right, let's see. Okay, so here, GCF out an x, so we get that. All right, so this goes a by times a by right there, so... Uh, and then we look at, so when it's just 1x squared, this is the easy ones, you guys, I hope. Um, then we go to 39, and we say, what times what equals 39? And those same numbers add to negative 16. Well, negative 13 times negative 3 is positive 39. And negative 13 uh, plus a negative 3 adds to that. So, so it goes into binomials, x minus 13, x minus 3. There's the GCF that we pulled out right there. All right, you guys, take care.